In this tutorial I'm going to tag the walls and then I'm going to create a schedule for those walls so that they can be dragged into the view where the floor plan is and that schedule will update itself depending on how I edit and delete walls. So first up just to tag them is a very simple process. I'm coming over to the annotate tab. I'm at tag all and if I scroll down here you can see that I've got some wall tags. I have this is already loaded into the architectural template, so I haven't needed to bring it in at all. I'm going to hit apply. If I click over here, sorry, before that you can see that 8mm. I'm going to choose the 8mm, and then I may even need to edit that later if it's not sitting properly. And there's now a wall tag applied to every different wall type instance in this drawing. So you can see that I've already popped that information in. Let's have a look at that. So you can see that with these tags, that I can edit that information. However, if I was to change this, um, I'll change it to something quite different. And you see that it asks me to change the type parameter, and am I happy with that? So now, can you see that this one changed as well? So that information lives in the wall under edit type. Here it is under type mark, and you can see that also here is the description that I've already created, but this again can be added later on, and it can be added as you're creating each wall, which is probably the way I'd recommend doing it, because you're thinking about how the whole thing's going together. Or you can create it and just add that information at the end when you're creating your legend. So I'm just going to set this back to, I think it was wall type 1. Okay, they're all going to adjust and you can see that I've got three different wall types in this project. I've got simply a double sided wall, so, so steel stud with plasterboard on either side. I've got steel stud with plasterboard just on one side and I've got the existing 200 core fill block work wall. So rivet's gone round positioned all of these in very easily. If I need, I've got a very simple drawing here, I can move these away and I can have a leader if for some reason there's some information against the wall and I need to pull it out but I want to make sure I've correctly identified the wall. So that's just up here in my options button bar and I'm just checking, I'm checking and then moving these around. Now I'm going to get rid of some of these unnecessary ones. I'll bring that in here. These are the existing walls. Okay, so very easy to create. However, as I look at them, I can see that there's a little bit of information that's overlapping the actual wall tag. What I'm going to do is just click on that wall tag and just adjust it to look the way I'd like it to look. I'm going into Edit Family. I'm clicking on the text. Yes, it's middle and centre, so I'm happy with that. However, it's a 3mm label, and I'd be happy with it being the same size as my text throughout the project and the same font style. So I'm going to go edit type and just duplicate that. I'm going to call it 2.5mm aerial narrow. I'm going to change this to aerial narrow because it'll fit in better, and that's what I've used for my font. I'll make this 2.5. Again, I'm just trying to get a consistent look throughout the project. I can hit save. If I save over the top of this, it will let me do that. It will call itself AUS and that means that I've now overwritten this and every time I want to use a wall tag, that's the one that it will load into. Um, otherwise, I could rename it and call it my name. However, just for simplicity, I'm going to load into the project and close choosing the project and yes I want to save the wall. I'll need to save that back if you've got this you'll need to save this back to your H drive or your C drive. I can save it into my annotations. And yes we want to override its parameter value so that means you've just changed it. Do you want that everything to be updated to that change? And that's all just sitting a little bit nicer. So very nice and easy to create wall tags in a view.